Hello, welcome to our day nine of our enlightened series. Today I'm going to share with you something which is very close to our hearts. Does God answer our prayers? To answer this question, it is important to know who our God is to us. God is our good Heavenly Father who loves and cares for us who are His children. Psalm 66 verse 18 to 20 If I had cherished sin in my heart, the Lord would not have listened. But God has surely listened and heard my voice in prayer. Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld His love from me. God hears us and wants to answer our prayers if we do not cherish sin in our hearts. God may not answer our prayers according to what we expect. I will share with you three ways in which God answers our prayers. Firstly, God's answer is yes. 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we asked of Him. One day, I had a prompting to visit a sister. I brushed it off initially, as I already had plans to run an errand that morning. The prompting came back again and I decided to visit the sister. She was very surprised to hear my call and visit because she had been crying to the Lord for help as she was going through some personal struggles. We ended up sharing and after praying for her, she felt set free. God's will was to set her free and the answer came immediately for her on that day. We were encouraged and felt thankful to the Lord. Secondly, God's answer is wait. It means God will answer our prayers, but not according to our own timing. I had a ganglion on my right wrist, which is a cyst filled with thick fluid. I did not seek any medical treatment, as it did not give me any pain. I've been praying for God's healing for several years, but it did not go away. Have you ever prayed and felt as if God didn't hear your prayer? Sometimes I feel discouraged so occasionally, I will remind God to heal me. One day at a staff meeting, a sister prayed for me. It was a general prayer of blessing for my well-being. After the prayer, the cyst shrunk 90% in size. I got so excited and I asked God to complete the healing. Praise God, the cyst never appeared again. Is there something that you have been praying for and the answer has not come? It is easy to feel discouraged and want to give up praying. Jesus understands how you feel. He encourages us to pray and not give up in Luke 18. I believe in the process of waiting for our prayers to be answered. He wants to strengthen and build up our faith in Him. We can depend on Him because He has not forgotten us. Thirdly, God's answer is no. When God's answer is no, we need to trust Him that He knows best and what is good for us. In 1986, a group of my friends from UK had migrated to Australia as there was a great demand for nurses. I was encouraged to join them. After praying, I did not feel the peace in my heart. The story of Jonah came to my mind and I felt God wanted me to be in Malaysia instead of running away to Australia. I had to learn to surrender my plans to Him. God's no to my prayer brought a breakthrough in my relationship with Him. As I grow to love the Lord, I began to be involved in ministry. He continues to guide me and I'm thankful for the privilege to serve Him here in Malaysia. I would like to conclude with two verses to encourage us to pray. Hebrews 11 verse 6, And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. John 16 verse 24 Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you will receive 
and your joy will be complete. He brought us out of the darkness and into the light.